In today's video, I want to discuss the breaking point of death, when you feel like you're going to die. At that point, you realize that the whole universe is imposing its will on you, and everything you think you know is actually just a current that's pushing you to think a certain way. But along with this process, you realize that you can only perceive the universe because you've created it in the instant that you've perceived it. And on the brink of death, you have no more ego. Your ego is so focused on survival that it forgets all the, the other things that it tries to do to survive. Like, oh, I have to perceive my family in this way, my friends in this way. All that goes to shit. Because what it wants to do is, is just not die. It doesn't care if his relationships were bad or if this person hurt him when he was like five, made his feelings feel bad or seven or six. All that matters is that if I stop breathing, my reality ends. And so the ego, no, at that moment, you realize the ego cannot create anything. But at the same time, you realize that the ego is always creating something. That when the ego says, this is the truth, this is the concept that we should think is true, that's when it's created. So in a sense, the ego is the creator. The ego is God, right? The ego is what is forming the reality. It's saying this is true versus that's not being true. And as such, um, you'll make this discovery if you do the Wim Hof method, uh, especially you know, if it's like your first time and you feel like you're going to die. Uh, and when that happens, the reason why you feel um, like reality is not you doing it, it's kind of, uh, it's kind of just a current is because that's the reality. You're perceiving something based on a current and that current is your survival needs, your survival, your ego's beliefs on how it thinks it needs to survive. And what's that, once that's gone, Instead of it creating reality, the universe creates its own reality. More like collective unconsciousness. But should you want that? Because if you have no ego, then the creation capacity diminishes. And so this is where stage turquoise and even stage clear-minded people, they forget the importance of the ego and how they're constructing reality and how that's significant to even shaping how other people think. Because if you admit that, then you also admit that duality might be significant. And there's an allergy against duality in transcendental, in transcendental stages, like turquoise and clear. Um, and so that's something interesting to consider. But the point of this video is to say that reality is kind of imposed on us, and it's the ego's uh, traumas that are creating reality. And that's why when you heal the ego's traumas, reality itself shifts, and the collective paradigm shifts, the collective unconscious changes. Very deep stuff. I hope you uh, hope you like this. You gain from this.